ever spawned in the Gulf of Mexico this late in the season, and only two other storms have ever intensified this quickly in 24 hours. Scientists say climate change helped make Milton and Hurricane Helene these massive and intense storms. Environmental reporter Scott Broom is here now with perspective. Climate scientists I talked to today say climate change has not produced more hurricanes this season, but the storms that have spun up have been more powerful and more destructive due to climate factors. When we look out in the Gulf of Mexico right now, we see extremely warm sea surface temperatures, near record sea surface temperatures. Dr. Daniel Guilford is a researcher at Climate Central who spoke to me from his home in central Florida in the Milton impact zone. And the warmer the sea surface temperatures that are underlying these storms get, the more likely these storms are to intensify rapidly. He points to Climate Central research showing the Gulf is now three degrees hotter than it would be without the greenhouse gas emissions that produced climate change. And it's not just wind and storm surge. It's catastrophic amounts of rain seen in North Carolina during Hurricane Helene just 12 days ago. Just an increase in the temperature of the atmosphere means that more water is evaporating off the ocean surface, adding to the water in the sky. This is kind of like a principle in physics. My breath is warm and it has moisture in it. Right. And if I breathe on a mirror, I see the moisture. And you're saying the atmosphere has, because it's even warmer, has even more moisture. Is that accurate? That's right. Preliminary data from the U.S. Department of Energy's Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory links climate change to 50% more rainfall from Helene. Dr. Michael Wenner did the study. Well, that's the bottom line, is that climate change exacerbated the rainfall, which then exacerbated the flooding, which exacerbates the suffering of the people impacted by it. Not only is there more moisture in the warmer atmosphere, there's more energy, there's more available energy. So in other words, you have stronger wind carrying more moist air and driving that moist air higher in the atmosphere quicker, quicker. and of course, the higher it goes, the more it cools, and that causes it to fall out as rain. Yeah, precisely. Is that, precisely. Is that the essence of it? Yeah, there's, there's more vertical motion. North Carolina's high mountains amplified that effect. People there are still recovering as Milton takes aim on Florida, where cleanup from Helene is also not finished. Scott Broom, WUSA 9. So much work to be done.